So we're going to look at the relationship between matrix algebra and symmetry. So last time we looked at uh, matrix algebra and the transpose, and symmetry is a property that's defined in terms of the transpose. Uh, in particular, uh, a matrix is symmetric if its transpose is equal to itself. That's one way of thinking about the transpose. And so this uh, suggests a way of checking to see whether something is um, symmetric. And that is, we take the transpose of it, whatever it is, and check to see if we get the same thing back again. So if we took the transpose of B, we'd want to check to see that we eventually get B back again. Okay, so the thing we're going to verify is that A times A transpose uh, is always symmetric. And I'll leave A transpose A up to you. It basically works out the same way. But here's, here's how we would do it. Okay, so whoops. Let's do the proof. So to prove that this is symmetric, well, what would we do? We say, okay, so let's take A times A transpose. And what I just wrote down in blue is that we should take the transpose of this thing and then see what we get. So let's see. Um, we, said, we saw a rule last time that said that if I have a product, so let's call them uh, B and C, and we take the transpose of it, then C, that's, whoops, C transpose times B transpose. That was a theorem, right? So I can use that here, and that'll tell me that the, we get A transpose transpose times A transpose. Okay, and then we also saw last time that um, when you take something and you transpose it twice, you get back where you started from. So that would tell us that this first one is actually just A. And now we connect the dots, and this thing that we started with by transposing is the same thing that we ended up with here. So we've just verified that A, A transpose is symmetric. And we're done. OK. So let's look at um, <coughs> uh, another result. So now, um, suppose that we have two uh, square matrices of the same size. So suppose A and B are both n by n matrices for the same n. And suppose A and B are also symmetric. So we have two symmetric matrices of the same size. Then we know a bunch of things. First off, A transpose is also going to be symmetric the sum will be symmetric, and a constant multiple will be symmetric, or a scalar multiple, that is. Okay, so let's see. So um, suppose I'm going to go ahead and prove the, the second part. So let's see. So this is about showing that A plus B is symmetric. So what we just saw is that we need to take the thing that we want to verify is symmetric and take its transpose. Alright, so what can you tell me about the transpose of A plus B? Well, um, let's see, we just saw a theorem last time that said that we can sort of distribute the, the transpose and split this apart, like so. Okay, so that was um, by a theorem. <clears throat> that was the one we did in the last video. And then what can you tell me? Hmm, well, what do we know? All we know um, is that we're given a couple of symmetric matrices. Oh, well, that's actually useful information. That, that means, then, that A transpose is equal to A and B transpose is equal to B, because that's what it means for these matrices to be symmetric. Okay, so that means, then, that I can substitute that in here. So A transpose is equal to A, because A is symmetric, and B transpose is equal to B, because B is symmetric. So this actually looks like A plus B. And so this, this is because A transpose is A, B transpose is B, and that was given as part of our hypotheses. And now we look at these and go, oh, that thing that I took the transpose of back in the beginning, after taking the transpose, I got the same thing back again. 
So that tells me that A plus B is symmetric. Whoops. And I will leave it to you to check uh, part three as well.